uh, Mexico is changing into an innovation economy. I feel confident about the talent in Mexico. I think we have the best programmers in Ensenada, programmers in Mexicali, programmers in TJ. We have computer graphics specialists all around Mexico. Cultural affinity, that's a technical term. There, there's, there's no cultural affinity because we are the culture. Mexico here um, is graduating about 80 to 90,000 STEM students a year. One of the things that definitely we bring to the table as a country is the ability to have a more of an autonomous uh, operation, meaning less hand-holding, less oversight, and really assuming a higher level of accountability. That is key. Love the weather, <laughs> the beach, like the ocean is like beautiful, and wine, good wine also. The great majority of individuals right now in Mexico are rooting for the New Mexico, and, and in the New Mexico, it's, it's all about you know being fair and being just. Right now, being fair is cool. Being just is cool. Great talent, bicultural, bilingual, near shore, which I, I don't see the shore. It's, I see a line and that's it. You have people from the US living here as well and they have found a home because it seems to be in the middle of everywhere. We have a, probably 30 flights or so to the Bay Area between Oakland, San Francisco and San Jose. We don't have any donkeys here. At the end of the day, the internet's equally as fast. Folks from Baja California, folks from Tijuana like better things. And now in Tijuana, we have about no less than 100 craft beers. Sonata Services is a global software uh, outsourcing provider. And what we offer is 24-7 development. We work with TaylorMade Golf. We work with uh, Events.com. We work with DealStruck. Uh, we work with legacy companies like IBM and Cisco. All right, I'll tell you what happens, you know, on a typical visit from a senior executive from any of my clients. You know, he or she is going to be a CTO or senior project manager. Pick them up at San Diego Lindbergh Field. They're, the first impression is, whoa, Tijuana changed. It, it's always like that. It, it, I mean, is this Tijuana? Yeah, I, I was here about 20 years ago back in my college days. Yeah, this is Tijuana. Uh, then they come to the office, right? Man, this is just like, this is just like my office, right? Oh, that kid over there. He, he actually has the same Empire Strikes Back uh, little doll, doll that I have. Then, you know, at the end of the day, I'll probably take them out for some, some you know, local IPA craft beer. And then if he or she surfs, I'll probably take them to Baja Mali or their mountain bike. I'll get them on my vehicle. And we're going to be mountain biking, you know, 30 minutes from here. Yeah, that's basically it. I love my job. If you have a live action show and you need a team of specialized professionals to do BFX work for you, we do it. Or if you're a producer doing an animated, uh, an animated feature or an animated TV series in 2D or 3D, we build teams specifically to um, uh, service that industry. We're working with major uh, toy companies located in, located in the United States as well as studios located in the States. The way that we work is like a shelter manufacturing where we deploy teams of creative professionals that go from 10 creative professionals to 100 creative professionals. We are not cheap labor. We are high-end, top-of-the-line IT professionals taking advantage of a scale of economy, which the cost of living in Mexico, it's not the same as the States. The fact that $1 right now gets you almost 18 pesos, there's where the advantage comes. So we're, we've been in business for 12 years. Uh, we started off primarily focusing on doing fixed bid or project-based work. We have a 12,000 square foot operation here now, hosting a little bit of 150 engineers. So we work for Playwood Corporate, based out of Beverly Hills. Uh, we do a lot of automation for them with internal communications and external partners for the digital right asset management systems. We also work for uh, companies out of the Embassy Universal Group. So one of, the, one of the benefits of having a talent pool that's not just bilingual but bicultural is that it enables us to act on behalf of our clients and interact with that, their own clients. A couple years ago, we had the opportunity to uh, start up an operation called MindHub, which is a startup incubator uh, where we basically have a dedicated team servicing ideas and entrepreneurs coming in trying to get things off the ground. What we basically what we put in and bring to the table is a group of talented engineers, marketers, etc. To, to kind of bring that from idea to fruition, whether that's creating an MVP or first iteration of their product, that's the sweet spot we're looking for and it's been a lot of fun.
BitCenter is a common place for all entrepreneurs and tech companies to, to have a space to work, to grow their businesses, to make relationships, to have events as well. You have tech companies, you have innovation companies, and you have also uh, training and educational companies. This used to be a supermarket uh, a, a long time ago, but since five years ago, the state government and ProSop, which is an institution that provides funding for science and technology projects, got together and created the Business Innovation Technology Center for Tijuana. Here at BitCenter we have a freelancer space, which is a free to use space for all, for anybody. Anybody can come and use the Wi-Fi, use the screens we have for sharing, uh, work tables as well. You don't have to go to a cafe, buy something, consume something. But you can come here and work, just like that, for free. And we have uh, right now 16 tasting rooms uh, for the, uh, the uh, regional uh, breweries. And the next month uh, we're going to have uh, 20. Uh, a lot of people uh, think that we drink uh, Corona or Tecate. Uh, that is not true. We have a lot of uh, kind of beers that we have a receptive uh, market in Mexico. We are, uh, we are right here in the fermentation room. We brew the beer right there and we transfer that beer to these fermentation tanks. I can live here. <laughs> <laughs> A great beer. <laughs> the IT infrastructure in Ensenada is on par with uh, practically any other city. We are like two hours from San Diego and that represents that you are like one hour from San Francisco. The quality of life in Ensenada is spectacular. It's a lot of different wine stores, common food stores too, a lot of wineries. Here in the valley there's 110 wineries, different wineries. We're part of a large research institution uh, that depends explicitly on CONACYT, which is a, a National Council of Science and Technology, which is comparable with the National Science Foundation in the United States. We, we, we try to use technology to help people in the learning and teaching process. We, we have this project with the University of California at Irvine that makes systems to help develop capacities in children with autism. We have about 50 students, 50 graduate students here in our department. They have, been, they have graduated and gone to important institutions, Google, of course the software uh, uh, industry in California. Uh, we have also helped uh, uh, some, some other institutions here to grow and, and, and Senada that way has become one of the most important cities to do research in. Softec is the largest uh, IT um, services provider in Latin America, headquartered in Mexico. We are deployed in 18 countries. Uh, we have presence in 30 or more. For EA, Electronic Arts, we are a big component of their uh, online gaming platform. Uh, so if you like FIFA or Battlefront and you would like to play online, Softec, and particularly Ensenada, is behind all the services that are rendered in that platform. Uh, over time, we have uh, developed an ecosystem with uh, industry partners and universities to the point in which we are 400 uh, professionals. Hub Center is a company, it's a business center and co-working that is working to create and consolidate an entrepreneurship and a startups ecosystem. Next month, we are gonna have the first incubator, that is a startup Baja incubator. We are gonna invite 10 teams to become and to develop the idea and become a reality to present to investors. The plan from the startups incubator is to have a batch each four months. Last November, we have a startup weekend and we have like 200 participating. The people arrive with an idea and then start from that, they need to sell the idea. They say, oh, all that we, maybe that we learn in the school, I need to change that. I, I found like a new manner to do business or to find my model business. 
we are in the in the wine region, like the 80% of our production of Mexico comes from here, so it's the very biggest winery production. We are in El Lecheto, so we are the biggest winery in Mexico. We produce the 60% of all the wine production in Mexico, and we have more than 30, 300 sorry, awards all around the world too. Here in this region, Valle de Guadalupe, has it all, okay? So we have very good water, very good soils, very, not a lot of water too, but with the necessary, we have it too. I can find very, very good wines here in my region, in my place, and I don't need to go to other countries or other places to look for it. So I just had to drive, take my car or my bicycle, drive it, and well, take a good bottle of wine. But this is like the signature wine in LA Cheto. The wine with one of the wines with more awards here in the company is the Neviolo. And well, the Nebbiolo is considered one of the best Nebbiolos outside from Italy. 12 months in the French Oak Barrel, always a new French Oak Barrel, 2012 Harvest. Uh, fruity, a lot of black and red fruits in this. And this wine, in the last, a little bit smoky flavor, like a tobacco, okay? Information technology is the, is the key for the future economy, and Mexicali is very well positioned to uh, succeed in, the, in that future. We're connected to the power services from California. It's the same grid. Mexicali is two hours from San Diego and Phoenix, Arizona, uh, and that allows us to have a lot of binational business. It is hot, so if, if you like hot weather, this is also a good place to, to be. The people in Mexicali are very warm, and they are always ready to help you, to teach you, and to get you grow faster. Grupo Red is a software factory. We have more than 14 years uh, in the market uh, with about 700 plus projects. We work, for example, in, in, with some companies in Phoenix where we, we custom build uh, specific integrations to their software, their ERP software, so they can communicate better with their customers. We have around 50 people doing engineering work and for software development. Business is great. We, we do 30 projects a year and we are expecting to double that in the next year. We, we believe we have a, a clear competitive advantage. We're, we're very near our market. We can access them in the same time zone and we can actually have physical meetings. You can't do that if, if you're coming from India or you're coming from Asia. We are teaching uh, Java, we are teaching uh, uh, da big data solutions, we are teaching nanotechnology solutions, solutions because uh, the, in the local industry needed. We are working with the University of Nebraska to build a uh, software to uh, collect uh, data to help uh, farmers of Nebraska, to, of Nebraska to predict weather. When I compare my students with the students of Nebraska, they are at the same level. In fact, uh, some of them went to Nebraska to help them for with their research. The fact that the, my laboratory is here in, uh, in this university and in this city is uh, a benefit for, for my research because the proximity to the US, we have access to the uh, partners uh, at Academic in several universities. Me and all my founders, we started here. We were studying and three years ago, we decided that we wanted to start a business that was different because of the abilities that we learned while studying here. We make rec facial recognition software in tablets that lets you keep track of when employees come in and go out of the office and you can also use it to connect to doors via an electromagnet so you can use it as an access control system. Uh, Model Software is a, a company that is advocated to develop custom software uh, for enterprises, especially mobile apps and web apps. This university has an incubator and they helped us to start a business four years ago. I have been surprised uh, when I went to San Diego because uh, I meet uh, businessmen and students and I, I, they teach me, but I can teach them too. Here you can find really good talent. There are a lot of software engineers and we have the first university in the whole country based on information, technology, careers and English. We are number five in, in population of researchers living here, but we are just the 2% of the national population. Uh, the local people are super friendly to foreigners. Uh, Merida is just a beautiful city. It was founded by the French. It has a very European feel. Either I'm out in a restaurant, in a bar, dancing on the street, taking dance classes, there's a lot to do here. The core of our business is 
to get data and to process this data and convert it into information. And this information converted into knowledge. And knowledge is the ultimate tool that the physician needs in order to do a, a better job. Burnout application is, was developed to help physicians and paramedics to treat people with burn injuries in a faster and better way. And the way it does that is using big data tools to process all the information that comes from the image of burn injury. Uh, imagine this is a little boy that, had, uh, that has an, an accident and has a burned chest. And there is no specialist around, but there is a paramedic around. He, the only thing that he's going to do is, okay, put some water on it and that's it. But with this technology, he can take a picture of the injury and analyze it. Then he can ask for the application to give him some recommendation and this recommendation he can then apply an immediate treatment in order to stop the heat, keep burning healthy tissue around this, uh, this area. There are just two civilizations that create the position of zero concept that is more complex than just the zero the Indian civilization and the Mayan civilization. Universal language is no Mandarin or English or Spanish. The new universal language is digital, one and zeros. And here in this land, we create the half of the entire digital language. We're a nearshore outsourcing firm. We specialize in technology and building technology. Uh, we work with Fortune 500 co companies in the US. We have specialized focuses in Oracle, in Microsoft, in uh, the open uh, stack. Our firm has grown, uh, Nearshore Technology has grown over the last three years from uh, two employees to now we have 75 and we have uh, orders on the books that will take us well over 100 by the end of the year. My background is uh, I'm Mexican-Italian. Uh, what I found it, growing up is that my family had a very strong work ethic and, and work culture. Um, and coming down here working with the Latin Americans, uh, with Mexico, the last six years I found that that same family value is in the rest of Mexico and I had a much bigger family than I realized. The Science Park in Yucatan now uh, has 23 companies working, 12 of them, 16 of them are in the ICT sector. In the next 10 years, uh, no less than 100 uh, companies will be established here in the Science Park. Companies are now establishing in Yucatan because we have so good human capacities. The reason you see in the dinosaur behind me is because 66 millions, million of years ago, a meteorite hit this part of the world, exactly where I am standing in Shukchuluk, close to the uh, seaside of Yucatan, and uh, that collision killed all the large organisms, plants and animals that lived at that time. Here at Blue Ocean, we have uh, this EGOP platform. It's a platform for government, uh, we have inside uh, GRP uh, software, uh, geographic information software, and nowadays we are around 100 persons with plans to grow to grow onto 600 in the next three years. Our software helps the mayor or or the governor to make sure that they are going according to the law. We are very proud of what we do because. It's, if a government is more efficient with our software, then they can build better uh, work, better services to the citizens, and then the citizens get uh, more quality of life, and then it's a better country. I have a gallery here, and I work with mostly Cuban and Latin, um, Latin American artists. Uh, the name of my gallery is Soho Galleries, because I'm from New York. I have a software company that is for uh, Fortune 500 companies for employee performance, employee uh, rewards, recognition, incentive programs. I work in my business in the United States most of the day. 
Um, and then I'm here working both the gallery and my business in the United States sometimes. There's no difficulty working my business in the United States from here. I've actually hired people here um, to help me work my business in the United States. Plus, I also have an office there and I have people that work there too. I didn't stay in the United States for a reason because I love coming back here. As soon as I land, I'm like, oh, I'm here, the trees, the smell, it's fantastic. We are providing software development services in a nearshore model to U.S. companies. Uh, in 2014, uh, mid-2014, we were 15 employees company and now it's uh, beginning of uh, 2016 and we are at 49. Our customers are software firms that they have their own softwares that they sell around the world. So we are an extension of their engineering departments and doing part of their products here. We have very capable guys as compared to the US. We've been able to deliver to everything that our customers have been asking. <laughs> Esta pues, compañía o ballet de danza folclórica se fundó hace aproximadamente 30 años y nosotros buscamos la difusión de lo que son las tradiciones dancísticas del Estado. La cultura yucateca es una cultura viva, eh, en el sentido de que las tradiciones aún se viven, no es algo que se haya quedado en los libros de historia. El Ayuntamiento de Mérida es el que patrocina y fue quien fundó este ballet. Eh, para precisamente difund la, para difundir lo que son las tradiciones. I see that large corporations like Softec, Dexter Technologies, and others have set up places here and are growing. It's a really nice place to live uh, and to raise your kids. Many startups, we have a lot of incubators, we have accelerators, we have uh, BC. A lot of private schools, right, really, really good private universities. That's the type of talent we're looking for. The quality of life is good, so we have very low attrition rates. So Aguascalientes really has all those things that we look for in, in a new location, and it just made a lot of sense to move here into Aguascalientes. Teleperformance is the largest uh, global provider of uh, customer experience for, uh, for clients all over the world. We have over 190,000 employees globally. We uh, service clients out of more than 270 call centers. We have two centers in Aguascalientes, uh, 400 stations each, and uh, what we do is provide support of, uh, to U.S.-based clients, uh, mainly for customer care, and we also do some soft troubleshooting for repair. Here out of Aguascalientes we work with uh, big US-based telco and cable companies. Yeah, we definitely see Aguascalientes as a long-term location for us. We, uh, we definitely still have room to grow, right? We have available capacity. The, the mid-tier cities like Aguascalientes, uh, cost of living is, is really attractive. Probably there's a 20-30% you know, difference versus the, the bigger cities. And that, of course, allows us to provide really attractive pricing to, to our clients. Lately, uh, the whole innovation focus has been only in IT. Uh, that gets me a little bit mad because uh, innovation is going in a lot of fields. For example, us, we're doing uh, biotechnology and food developing. Uh, what we did to reduce our cost structure is that we developed a technology that allowed us to use uh, the surrounding biomass leftovers and transform this useless in, in nutrition aspects into an efficient food for cattle. This uh, integrated to our uh, feed ratios uh, help us to reduce the cost of, of feeding in about 20%. This pellet is made out of uh, corn hay and some grasses, which normally will be very low nutrition quality, but because our process this small pellet can uh, replace corn and soy in the, in the feed rations. So we're building this new facility uh, to actually produce our value-added dairy products. This is going to be a grade A, FDA grade A factory. So there's only one of a kind here in Mexico. This is going to be the second plant to be grade A. You know, we're using a special glass fiber panels to the factory with the, all the infrastructure is specially made and I believe this is just a state-of-the-art facility. Yeah, we basically do interactive media projects. Uh, 
mostly uh, mobile games and mobile apps. Yes, uh, we're working on this game. This is a combination of uh, soccer and uh, fighting, and uh, it's called Final Match. We've been working on this game about one year. You can find it in the App Store and in Google Play. Yeah, I love soccer. Do you play soccer? I used to play when I was young. I don't play soccer right now because I'm kind of old. We have a lot of ideas and we draw those ideas. So basically those sketches are for uh, projects where we have some idea and we just the sketches and uh, right, we, we came out with the, those solutions, you know. A US company would find in Animactiva the same uh, quality service that they could find in the US. You know, we can provide the same programming skills, the same uh, uh, designs, uh, user experience. Uh, we develop software for U.S. corporations uh, from Aguas Calientes, particularly one of our customers, Texas Instruments. Uh, we develop a lot of the software that uh, is embedded into their products. And we're now currently uh, more than 400 people working for Texas Technologies. 80% uh, of our revenue comes from U.S.-based engagements. We decided to set up Aguas Calientes uh, four or five years ago uh, to support Texas Instruments. They, had a, they have an operation here. Uh, but then we really started liking Aguas Calientes as a city. Why? The service that we provide are mission critical to, some, to most of our customers. So they need to be there on time, right? And our communication has to be through telecom. So the infrastructure has to be robust and we have that kind of robustness here in Aguascalientes. Travel Capital is a fund, it's a small fund. We have 50 million pesos to invest in 12 startups in the next three years. Uh, we help these startups uh, helping to develop the business plans and giving the money, uh, approaching to the, uh, the, connecting with the ecosystem. I began in, in a startup that uh, it was my first investment. Uh, the name of this startup is Secap. Secap was named in 2014 the best application made in Mexico. Secap is an application that keeps you uh, more connected with your friends and your, and your closest people and your teams. And when you press your panic button uh, with your beacon or even in your application, your, your smartphone is streamed live, your audio and video, so your contacts will be able to help you whatever it happens. Softtech is uh, a, a consulting company more related on the uh, uh, software maintenance, development and infrastructure support. Here in Aguascalientes, we manage the, in the, the biggest account for the U.S. domestic. I mean, mainly all the platform, the operation systems, all the transactions through the network is, is something that we, we control. I think the future in Aguascalientes and IT sector is really a high expectation. I mean, the high expectation through our people, the high expectation of our you know, company, since that they are, they are thinking to, to continue growing.